Mark, where are we right now? We are now in Karachi at the international airport and as you can see there are a lot of uh, great people flying with us <laughs> and now we have arrived in Karachi I'm very excited and now let's go to see Mr. Mudasir The question is, where is Mr. Mudasir? Ah, he's waving over there, you see? Hello! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to chaos! How are you doing? Good to see you. Good to see you, Habibi. <laughs> Welcome to Chaos. You probably haven't seen something like this. How are you doing in our house so far? How are you? Tell me, I'm fantastic. And, uh, at the end, we have a small video, which is a surprise. We want to go on the bus, Mark, right? Nice. Of course, I want to hang on the bus with one arm. <laughs> <laughs> You're laughing now. <laughs> Let's wait for tomorrow. <laughs> So the other arm, I have a lot of bags <laughs> from the market. <laughs> yeah. We have arrived. Let's go. Abari Hotel. Hi, how are you? Mark. What are you doing here? Um, are, you, are you Mark Lachlan? Yes. Can I, have a, can I have a picture with you? <laughs> uh, what am I doing here? I'm preparing for the event because we will have a great event and I will have a speech about different things, especially artificial intelligence as always. So I'm just uh, updating a bit, writing some emails and uh, now I will have some great food because they set up some buffet dinner and uh, no, buffet lunch here for us. So I'm a bit hungry, so I will eat now. Don't judge how it looks like, judge how it tastes, and it will taste very good. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. You have to change the story. Dr. Yaz, Samad Lutfi, Fatima, and Yonda. Especially thanks for Mark Kluffel for coming all the way from Germany and Dubai, right? Mark is our uh, chairman, investor, co-founder as well and uh, because of his vision and our mission, we are here, right? So first of all, thank you for, for Mark and Noah, he is a famous vlogger, right? You, you will know him a bit more, right? You present. So we are doing two new things here, you know, like Steve Jobs, you have to present something new. So we, I'm going to present you the procurement supply chain logistics tracks we have launched and we have launched a new pricing model, very much focused for the B2B industry. So there are two new things I'm going to present. I'm assuming all of you work in supply chain, right? So how many people are engineers working in supply chain? Whoa, look at this. Then we told them, this is how you do 5S, this is how you do leader standard work. Then we told them, how this is how you do pick, pack and ship. Then they're like in logistics and they say, I want to learn. Now, this leads to a second issue. So I'm sharing my experience. So everywhere you get data, you need to consolidate this. You have huge Excel tables. Then you do. Uh, then you have to do the Excel formulas that you somehow get your results. Um, but with AI, it is uh, not even necessary anymore to bring this in one Excel table. You can have uh, data sets uh, in different uh, systems, and uh, with AI, you bring it together in one uh, in one template. Uh, you just need to prepare it once and you have it ready and you can uh, be so much faster and even if you hate Excel and if you don't know how to do this, you don't need to learn it anymore. Uh, you can directly jump to AI now and it will help you a lot uh, with your daily work.
you very much. How are you feeling? You have happy? Great. Good, 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 good. good. I never had a pick with my name. <laughs> yes, there you go. Let's go to these guys and just have a look there. This is the kitchen, we have to have a look. That looks amazing. Great. Leave them alone. Look at this. Come, come, come. <laughs> look, at, look at this. Look at this. Look at, look at these fishes there. Oh, that I love. <laughs> I love great food. Looks crazy here. Yeah, it looks amazing. It's the Indian Ocean. And then, this is naan. This is what this is. We can't see naan in Mumbai, Delhi. Rogni naan. Try this, please. This is very special. Take the whole thing. You split between you and Noah. Mark, this is Afghani for me. Afghani. Imported from Afghani. Afghani don't like us. This is my personal welcome message. Even I didn't ask them. Welcome to Pakistan. You see? Because where are we now? We are in Pakistan. <laughs> nice. And this is uh, and this is the, the special most loved sweet from Mutas here. Because he said if I don't finish <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, I'll eat it, he will do. I will do it, yeah. But I'm sure I will like it and he doesn't get anything of this. <laughs> um, I love the kitchen. When I came in and saw all these people in the kitchen um, working there and the cooks and I was going there, they were sharing with me what they are doing. And then the food came. We had uh, four or five different kinds of, uh, of meat. Every single dish was perfect. The, the naan was very good. This garlic naan I loved a lot. And then I got a surprise. Um, this there was welcome to Pakistan, which is really nice. It was uh, really for me unexpected. I mean, as you know, I like food a lot. I've been to many great restaurants in my life, but I didn't expect uh, that we find something like this. I was thinking that we are sitting in some inside restaurant anywhere in the city, but that we are sitting directly at the beach. At the, 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 I mean, there's, there's literally the ocean, the Indian Ocean, a huge, and that there's uh, places like this, uh, so many houses and so many tables and so many people, yeah? and uh, this kitchen outside where all these people are working together. Yeah? So I learned that these are different restaurants, but they all have, they share the same kitchen, but in the kitchen they have different areas where they work. So this is something which I've never seen before. And this food was really, really uh, amazing. It was very good. Good morning. I had a great sleep. I feel very good. Only I have one problem. What? Do you want to know? I forgot my belt. Oh. Because uh, I want to put this in normally later. And then I look like a, like a teenager when I come like this. <laughs> so I have to find a solution what I'm going to do. If I can go to Pakistani television like this, yes. or if I can go to Pakistani television like this, or if I find a belt somewhere, maybe I can steal the belt from someone. Okay. To make sure that it's mango. No. Papaya. It's papaya again. It looks like mango, but it's papaya. Good. Okay, then I eat a bit of papaya. I mean, why do they give me apple? Apple I can have in Europe. Uh, here I expect mango and they give me apple. Now we go to the, to the live television and we talk about many interesting things. One million subscribers. One million? Yes. They are our big competitors. But soon he will overtake them. This guy had a belt. <laughs> I am not sure if he has a belt. I am going now to Pakistani television without a f belt. <laughs> Can you imagine this? <laughs> the, whole, the whole country will see me and I don't have a belt. 
Okay, but uh, I think you cannot see it now. Can you see it? No, I think it's fine now. No, no, I covered good. it. I covered it very well. So now I'm ready for the nation. It's a newsroom? Yes. Have you ever been to the newsroom? This no. is the newsroom, Mark. Hello, hi. This is your name. This my name is Mark. Yeah. Mark. Mark, full name is? Mark Kleffel. 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 I'm not, I'm not calling you Kleffel. I'm just going to say Mr. Mark. You don't have to look like this. I won't share it with you. <laughs> it's too good to share. <laughs> this Karachi club. That's where the rich and beautiful of Karachi meet each other. Let's go and let's see them. What are you Where are we right now? We are at Clock Towers, a food bazaar. Supposed to be nice food on the beach. We'll show you inside. Follow me. Clock Tower, that's great. What do you think? What do you think? Get up. Get up. Yes. Goodbye. First time in Pakistan. My second uh, lunch or dinner here. And I must say it was really, really good. Uh, a lot of great choice. We are negotiating a big yeah. now. I don't, to, I, don't, I don't want to try for these cars anymore, so we need to have a real car. Plan is sugar sugar cane drink, then we go to Classic Club, data exchange, mango purchase, dinner, airport. Very good. Amazing butter chicken here. It was really, really yummy. Great bread, great garlic naan. I really like it. I had butter chicken in uh, many places, but this place was definitely the best. Very, very good. I'm completely full now. Celebrity. No. <laughs> because I had so much butter chicken, so much bread, really great naan. Great garlic naan and the butter chicken was very perfect, really hey, yummy. How about the service quality? 
Um, the service was good. There was a lot of bread standing, a lot of great butter in. There was enough water, so the service was perfect. <laughs> I'm glad. We are back at the airport, so the trip is more or less done. We are going to the lounge now to rest a bit. But to sum up this trip, I must say Pakistan is for me one of the most undervalued uh, countries. Everyone I asked before, everyone I told before that I go to Pakistan, they were, felt pity with me, they were saying, what are you doing there? Um, pay attention and whatever. But I must say it's the complete opposite. I was the only white guy here. I didn't see any other white guy except for the Noah, the guy behind the camera. <laughs> um, no, but honestly, we were the only two white guys here. I was two days traveling around in Karachi like crazy. I didn't see any other white guys, no foreigners, only Pakistani guys. So that means for me that no one is coming here. No one wants to make a business with these people. No one wants to invest here. And this is pretty sad. And I can tell to everyone who is watching this uh, movie that Pakistan is much better than you think. Um, we also had some fun here, as you say, but to be really serious, I had very, very good talks uh, with great business people here. I met uh, young people with a lot of ambition, with a lot of motivation, and uh, this country has much more to offer than most people think. There's a great nature, there are mountains, there are green areas, there are mango areas, there's the, the beach, um, there is a potential of more than 100 million people, the wages are pretty low. Um, not all of them know how to read and to write, yes, and not all of them have been at university, but many have, and those people are really uh, um, a capital of this country, and uh, I think everyone who is interested into Pakistan should follow my example, should come to this country, should explore this country, should meet these great people, and if you are someone who thinks about investing in Pakistan, continue thinking about it, I think it is worthwhile to come here, meet people and uh, check it out. So this is the end of my video to Pakistan, uh, great country, great people and I will definitely come back very soon. <laughs>